I mean, we just heard from Delta coming out. Expectations beat Wall Street's uh, forecast. They also talk about second quarter coming in robust and no sign of a slowdown. Typical for this type of season. How much can we expect airplane tickets to go up, prices to go up, just simply because of a lack of deliveries of new planes, lack of capacity, and an incredible amount of demand? You know, so I think there's a big debate in the marketplace right now if, you know, the, if there is a lack of airplanes, if that will filter through into the marketplace. For sure, Delta would be one to gain from the problems of Boeing. If you're a Boeing fleet, uh, you, you know, you're, you're not getting airplanes as fast as you'd like. You're not going to compete uh, as much with them. So it could help them. What I will say, though, uh, you know, Delta's earnings were nice. But if you look at their yields, it's the price paid per mile flown by a passenger. The, the yields weren't great. They were actually down uh, year over year. Uh, and if you look, you look at sort of the bifurcation of that, uh, if you look at the, the sort of the basic economy customer, they're, they're, um, the income for them grew 4% against capacity that grew, uh, actually not, not capacity, but against um, Tra travel that grew 9% or uh, revenue passenger miles, which is essentially all the miles they put in the air that were filled. They grew, that grew 4% for the basic traveler. It grew 10% for the premium traveler. So what I'm trying to tell you is it still looks like the basic traveler, there might be too many seats in the marketplace. If you look at Delta's domestic yields as well, price paid per mile flown you know, by traveler, those were flat. So right now, what we're not seeing is we're not seeing fares rise significantly. We'll see as we get into the summer season, they guided forward. Their guide was an operating margin that would be below last year's operating margin. So while the profit looked good, it beat expectations. What I'm seeing is higher load factors out of Delta and maybe fares, especially for the basic traveler, aren't as good. You know, they're they're flat-ish and they're and they're much better for the premium travel. This is fascinating, George.